today i am explaining fractions decimals and rational numbers in the, in that chapter exercise 1 okay first question is compute and express the following results as a mixed fraction okay 2 plus 3 by 4 okay here 2 by 1 we have 2 by 1 plus 3 by 4 this meaning is 2 by 1 plus 3 by 4 first convert them into like fractions here denominator is 1 here denominator is 4 so they are unlike fractions first convert them into like fractions by using butterfly method we will convert okay 2 into 4 this one this two multiply 2 into 4 by now this two multiply 4 into 1 into 4 okay plus this one this two multiply 3 into 1 3 into 1 now again this two 1 into 4 so this is 2 into 4 8 by 4 plus 3 into 1 3 1 into 4 4 3 by 4 so now they are like fractions 8 by 4 plus 3 by 4 how much 8 now they are like fractions denominators are same so we can add numerators directly 8 plus 3 11 by 4 this is the first one answer and they are asking to convert that into mixed fraction i will do that one 4 Four twos eight, eleven minus eight three. So this can be written as two and three. I'll write here and I'll keep like this and four. Okay, two three by four. This is the mixed fraction of this one. Okay, next question. Next question seven by nine plus one by three. This also I will convert with the help of butterfly method. Okay, okay. Seven first multiply these two numbers. Seven into three by next multiply these two denominators. Nine into three plus here plus we have. I am keeping that one. Next multiply these two numbers. One and nine. One and nine. One into nine. By nine, this now multiply these two numbers. Nine into three, okay. So seven three is twenty one. By nine three is twenty seven. Plus one into nine 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 three is twenty seven. So now they are like fractions. They are like fractions. So we can add numerators directly. Twenty one plus nine how much? Thirty. Thirty by twenty seven. I'll cancel this. Three nine. Twenty-seven, three times thirty. So ten by nine. Here they are asking convert them into mixed fraction. So I'll do here division nine ones nine ten minus nine one. So it can be written as first I'll write this one and I'll keep it like this and this one I'll write here and this one I'll write in the denominator. So mixed fraction of ten by nine is one one by nine. Okay. Next, third question is one minus four by seven. One minus four by seven. Here, nothing is there means we have denominator one. Okay, one by one minus four by seven. This also I will do with the help of butterfly method. First, I will convert them into like fractions. Okay, one multiply this one and this seven. Okay, one into seven by this two multiply this two denominators multiply now one into Seven minus one into four. This two I am multiplying this new denominator and this numerator. Okay, one into four and again two denominators. One into seven. Okay, so one into seven how much? Seven. Here also one into seven seven will get minus one into four four one into seven seven. Okay, so now they are. Like fractions. Why I'm keeping minus here? Here we have minus. That's why I'm keeping minus. Okay. Seven here. They are like fractions. Denominators are same. So we can subtract denominate numerators. Seven minus four, three. Three by seven. This one we cannot convert that into mixed fraction. Why this is proper fraction? That's why you cannot. We cannot convert this into mixed fraction. Okay. Next question is. Two two by three plus one by two. Here they have given mixed fraction. First, can I will convert 
into proper fraction. Here, 3 into 2, how much? 3 into 2, sorry, improper fraction. I will convert that into improper fraction. 3 into 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 by 3. First, multiply these two numbers and add this two. Okay, you will get improper fraction. 8 by 3 plus 1 by 2. First one, second one is 1 by 2. I am writing that as it is. Okay. 8 by 3 plus 1 by 2. So, 8 by 3. Here, sorry, sorry. Now, I will do this also with the help of butterfly method. Okay. Here we have plus. So, now I will multiply this one 8 into 2. This 8 and this 2. That is 8 into 2 by 3 into 2. Plus, next I will multiply this 2. This denominator and second one numerator. 3 into 1. 3 into 1 by this 2. 3, this 2 denominators. 3 into 2. Okay. So, 8 into 2. 16 by 3 into 2, 6 plus 3 into 1, 3, 3 to 6. So, it, it is 6. Here they are like fractions. Now, denominators are same. So, they are like fractions. So, we can add numerators. 16 plus 3, 19. 19 by 6. Now, I will do division. 6, 19. 6, 3 is 18. 6, 3 is 18. 9 minus 8, how much? 1. So, this can be written as 3, 1 by 6. 3, 1 by 6 is the mixture fraction of 2, 2 by 3 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Next question, 5 by 8 minus 1 by 6. 5 by 8 minus 1 by 6. First, I will convert with the help of butterfly method, I will convert that into mixture fraction. Okay. Draw arrow marks like this and this one. Okay. First, this numer numerator and second one denominator multiply that. 5 into 6 and multiply this two. This two denominators. 8 into 6 minus next 1 into 8. This, this uh, first one denominator and second one numerator. This 8 and this one. Okay. 8 into 1 by 8 into 6. Okay, now 5, 6, 30, 8, 6, 48, minus 8 ones, 8, 8, 6, 48, okay. So, 30 minus here, here, denominators are same, we can subtract numerators, they are like fractions now, okay. 30 minus 8, how much? 22, 22 by 48, I will cancel this one, 2 ones, 2 ones. 2 twos, 2 fours. This is 11 by 24. This one we cannot convert into mixed fraction. Why? This is prop, proper fraction. So, we cannot convert that into mixed fraction. Next question is 2, 2 by 3 plus 3, 1 by 2. First, I will convert them into improper fractions. Multiply these two numbers 3 to 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 by 3 I am writing. Next one plus I am keeping here. And 3 twos, this 2 multiply. 3 to 6, 6 plus 1, 7 by 2. Okay. Now I will add this one with the help of butterfly method. So, 8 twos, first I will multiply this one, this uh, numerator, first one numerator and second one denominator. 8 to 16 and I will multiply these two denominators. 3, 2. 3 to 6. Plus here we have plus symbol. 7 3s, 21 and 3 2s, 6. 7 3s, 21, 3 2s, this 2, um, this 3 and this 7 I multiplied here and this 2 I am multiplying 3 to 6. So, 16 plus 21 how much? 37 by 6. I will do division here. 6 6, 36, remainder is 1. So, this can be written as first I will write this one and I will keep here line and here 1 and denominator 6. 6 1 by 6 is the mixed fraction of this one. Okay. Arrange the following in ascending order. Okay. 5 by 8, 5 by 6 and 1 by 2. Okay. First we have to here their denominators are different. So we have to convert them into 
like fractions these these are unlike fractions so we have to convert them into like fractions first with the help of lc method we will convert that one into like fractions okay 8 6 2 2 4 8 2 3 6 2 1 2 um, so these are no common factors now i will multiply 2 into 4 into 3 that is equal to 2 4 8 8 3 24 so first in the denominator i want this 24 in the denominator i want this 24 so multiply here multiply 8 with 3 we will get 8 3 is 24 so here multiply numerator and denominator with 3 okay 3 by 3 1 so it will become 5 by 8 only so that's why i am multiplying with 3 by 3 8 3 is 24 in the denominator i want 24 that's why i am multiplying 8 with 3 so multiply with multiply 5 also with 3 okay next 5 by 6 in the here also in the denominator i want 24 in the denominator i want 4, 24 6 4 is 24 so denominator in the denominator i am writing 4 so i am i want in the numerator also i have to write 4 4 by 4 1 again it will become 5 by 6 only okay next 1 by 2 into here 24 in the here also i, am, I want in the denominator 24 only so 2 uh, multiply 2 with any number you have to get 24 2 to 12 24 so here also multiply numerator and denominator with 2 1 okay so 5 3 is 15 8 3 is 24 5 4 is 20 6 4 is 24 1 2 1 12 is 12 2 12 is 24 so these are now these are like fractions why we have denominator all denominators are same okay so so ascending order means small to big here denominators are same so we have to compare numerator here 12, 15 20 12 here 12 is the smallest one 12 by 24 12 by 24 means 1 by 2 okay next 15 by 24 that is 5 by uh, sorry 5 by 8 next is next one is 20 by 24 that is 5 by 6 20 by 24 this is the answer i'll write here this one 12 by 24 1 by 2 and uh, 15 by 24 5 by 8 and third one uh, 20 by 24 5 by 6 that's it okay now next problem is 2 by 5 1 by 3 3 by 10 2 by 5 1 by 3 3 by 10 2 by 5 1 by 3 3 by 10 here i will do lcm for this 5 3 10 5 1 is 5 3 5 2 is 10 so lcm for this three numbers is 5 into 3 into 2 that is equal to 5 3 is 15 15 2 is 30 okay so here in the denominator in these three denominators i want this 30 okay 2 by 5 multiply 5 with any number you have to get 30 5 6 30 so here multiply numerator and denominator with 6 okay next question next one 1 by 3 3 tens 30 3 here 3 we have 3 multiply 3 with 10 you will get 30 so multiply denominator and numerator with 10 next 3 by 10 into here i want in the denominator 30 so 10 3 is 30 so multiply with multiply and divide with 3 by 3 okay next 2 by 6 2 into 6 how much 12 5 6 30 1 into 10 how much 10 3 into 10 30 next 3 into 3 9 10 into 3 30 so ascending order here denominators are same so compare the numerators in this third one is the smallest one 9 is the smallest one 9 by 30 and 
second one is the smallest next smallest one 10 by 30 next one this one 12 by 30 so here 9 by 30 means 3 by 10 that is 3 by 10 and 10 by 30 means 1 by 3 1 by 3 12 by 30 means 2 by 5 this is the answer for the second one next next question is check in the following square whether in this square the sum of numbers in each row and in each column and along, diagon along diagonals. Diagonals means these are. Are same or not. Okay. Here I will do. I will add this. This is row. Okay. I will 6 by 13 plus 13 by 13 plus 2 by 13. Here see, here we have in this 3 we have denominator is 13. Okay. We can add. Here they are asking sum. Sum means we have to add. So, 6 plus 13, they are like fractions. So, we can add numerators directly. 6 plus 13, how much? 19. 19 plus 2, 20, 21. So, 21 by 13. This row answer is 21 by 13. Next, this row. 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 11, 21. 21 by, here we have denominator 13. Next, 12 by 13. 1 by 13, 8 by 13. Here also we have denominator same. So they are like fractions. So add the numerators. 12 plus 1, 13. 13 plus 8, 21 by 13. Okay. So next I will add columns. Okay. 6 by 13, 3 by 13, 12 by 13. Here also denominator is same. So add the numerators. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 plus 12, 21 by 13. 13. Next, 13 plus 7, next column, 13 plus 7, 20, 20 plus 1, 21 by 13. Next, here, 2 plus 11, 13, 13 plus 8, 21. So, along column, along rows, we are getting the same answer, that is 21 by 13. Now, I will add this diagonal, 6 plus, here 7 we have. 6 plus 7, 13. 13 plus 8, 21 by 13. Now, I will add along this diagonal. Okay. 2, by, 2 plus 7, 9. 9 plus 12, 21. So, here along the diagonals, along the diagonals and along the columns, along the rows, we are getting the same answer. That one I will write. Sum of numbers. Sum of numbers in each column and in each row and along the diagonals. Is same. That's it. Third question is completed. Next, fourth question is a rectangular sheet of paper is 5 2 by 3 centimeters long and 3 1 by 5 1 by 5 centimeters wide. Wide means breadth or width you can say. Find its perimeter. This is the rectangle and they have given this one 5 by 2 3 say. 2 by 3 centimeters and this width they have given 3 1 by 5 centimeters okay what is the perimeter of rectangle formula first i'll write length is equal to length of rectangle is equal to is equal to 5 2 by 3 centimeters that is first i'll add i'll convert this into improper fraction okay 5 3 is 15 add this to 15 plus 2 17 17 by 3 centimeters. Next, breadth of the rectangle. Is equal to they have given 3 1 by 5 centimeters. 3 1 by 5 centimeters. Now add, uh, multiply this to 5 3 is 15. Add 1. 15 plus 1, 16 by 5 centimeters. This is the breadth of the rectangle. We know the formula of the formula of rectangle. 
பெரிமீட்டர் ஆஃப் ரெக்டாங்கிள் ஃபார்முலா பி பெரிமீட்டர் ஆஃப் ரெக்டாங்கிள் இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு டூ இன்டு எல் ப்ளஸ் பி ஹியர் எல் இஸ் திஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் பி இஸ் திஸ் ஒன் ஓகே டூ இன்டு எல் ஹமாஸ் செவன்டீன் பை த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் பி பிரெட் ஹமாஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பை ஃபைவ் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இந்த பிராக்கெட்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் செவன்டீன் பை த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பை ஃபைவ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கன்வெர்ட் தெம் தே ஆர் அன்லைக் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் டினாமினேட்டர்ஸ் ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் தே ஆர் அன்லைக் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கன்வெர்ட் தெம் இன் டூ லைக் ஃப்ராக்ஷன்ஸ் டூ இன்டு ஹியர் யூஸ் பட்டர்ஃப்ளை மெத்தட் மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் திஸ் ஒன் திஸ் நியூமரேட்டர் அண்ட் செகண்ட் ஒன் டூ டினாமினேட்டர் செவன்டீன் ஃபைவ் எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் செவன்டீன் இன்டூ ஃபைவ் பை நவ் மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் டூ டினாமினேட்டர்ஸ் த்ரீ இன்டூ ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் நவ் செகண்ட் ஒன் நியூமரேட்டர் அண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் டினாமினேட்டர் சிக்ஸ்டீன் இன்டூ த்ரீ பை மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் டூ டினாமினேட்டர்ஸ் த்ரீ இன்டூ ஃபைவ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் கேன் பி ரிட்டன் இஸ் செவன்டீன் ஃபைவ் எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் த்ரீஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸோ நவ் டினாமினேட்டர்ஸ் ஆர் சேம் நவ் டினாமினேட்டர்ஸ் ஆர் சேம் ஸோ ஐ ஹேட் த நியூமினேட்டர்ஸ் ஹியர் டூ ஐ ரைட் லைக் தட் ஓன்லி எயிட்டி ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் ஹோ மச் எயிட் ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் தேர்ட்டீன் எயிட் ப்ளஸ் ஃபோர் ஒன் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ பை ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸோ டூ இன்டூ ஒன் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ பை ஃபிஃப்டீன் தட் இஸ் டூ இன்டூ ஒன் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ நோ மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் திஸ் இஸ் இன் டி நியூமரேட்டர் ஹியர் ஸோ மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் டூ நியூமரேட்டர்ஸ் டோன்ட் மல்டிப்ளை வித் டினாமினேட்டர் ஓகே மல்டிப்ளை திஸ் டூ நியூமரேட்டர்ஸ் டூ த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் டூ த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் டூ ஒன்ஸ் டூ டூ சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் பை ஃபிஃப்டீன் சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் இஸ் த பெரிமீட்டர் ஆஃப் த ரெக்டாங்கிள் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஷன் இஸ் த ரெசிப் ரிக்வயர்ஸ் த்ரீ ஒன் த்ரீ ஒன் பை ஃபோர் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் ஃப்ளோர் ராதா ஹேஸ் ஒன் த்ரீ பை எயிட் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் ஓகே ஹவு மெனி மோர் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் டஸ் ஷி நீட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஐ ரைட் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் நீடட் ஃபார் ரெஸ் டு மேக் ரெசிபி Number of ones, I'll write. Number of, number of cups of flour. Number of cups of flour needed to make recipe. Is equal to 3 1 by 4 cups. Okay. Next, Radha has how many cups of flour? 1 3 by 8 cups of flour. Number of cups of flour Radha has. is equal to 1 3 by 8 still how many cups of flour she need so cup number of cups of flour she need is equal to is equal to total cups of flour 3 1 by 4 and uh, radha how many cups of flour radha has 1 3 by 8 cups of flour so subtract this two you'll get the answer 3 fourths 12 3 fourths 12 12 plus 1 13 13 by 4 minus 8 one side 8 plus 3 11 here 13 by 4 minus 11 by 8 they are not like fractions so first convert them into like fractions use butterfly method first multiply this numerator and this denominator multiply 13 into 8 Now, this two denominators, 4 into 8 minus this denominator and this numerator, 11 into 4. Again, this two denominators, 4 into 8, okay? 13 8s, 13 8s, 1 not 4 by 4 8s, 32 minus 11 4s, 44, 4 8s, 32. So, now, denominators are same, they are, they are like fractions. So, subtract numerators 104 minus 44 that is 0 10 minus 4 60 by 32 we can cancel this one 
டூ ஒன்ஸ் டூ சிக்ஸ் டுவெல் டூ த்ரீஸ் டூ ஜீரோஸ் டூ எயிட்ஸ் டூ ஒன்ஸ் டூ ஃபைவ் ஸோ ஃபிஃப்டீன் பை எயிட் ஓகே திஸ் மச் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் ஷி நீட் ஓகே ஃபிஃப்டீன் எயிட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் பை எயிட் கப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோர் ஷி நீட் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஷின் இஸ் அப்துல் இஸ் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் ஃபார் ஹீஸ் ஃபைனல் எக்ஸாம் ஹி ஹேஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் ஃபைவ் பை டுவெல் பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் கோர்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் ஃபைன் ஹவ் மச் கோர்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் இஸ் லெஃப்ட் ஹியர் வி டோன்ட் நோ ஹவ் மச் கோர்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் இஸ் தேர் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டேக் Let's take total course content is equal to 1. Okay, let's take total course content is equal to 1. And completed course content how much? 5 by 12. Completed course content is equal to 5 by 12. okay next find how much course content left so here total course content is 1 and course content completed is 5 by 12 so subtract this two two numbers you will get course how much course content left okay course content left is equal to 1 total course content minus course content completed 1 minus 5 by 12 here convert here 1 by 1 convert them into like and like uh, like fractions so 1 into 12 now multiply denominators 1 into 12 minus 5 into 1 1 into 12 okay so 1 into 12 means 12 here 1 into 12 12 minus 5 into 1 5 1 by 1 into 12 12 okay so here now that we have denominators are same so they are like fractions so we can subtract directly numerators okay 12 minus 5 7 7 by 12 is the course content left is 7 by 12 sixth question completed seventh question is find the perimeter of triangle abe the right and second question in the two questions we have find out the perimeter of triangle ab the rectangle bcd in this figure which figure has greater perimeter and how much okay here triangle here a triangle abe this is the triangle abe first i'll find out the area of that one triangle abe perimeter of perimeter of triangle abe the length along the boundary is called perimeter of triangle abe 3 1 by 3 this one 3 1 by 3 plus this one 4 2 by 3 next this one 2 1 by 5 2 1 1 by 5 okay so first i will convert them into improper fractions 3 3 is 9 9 plus 1 10 by 3 Four threes multiply this two. Four threes twelve plus two, fourteen. Fourteen by three. Plus multiply this two. Five twos ten. Add this one. Five twos ten plus one, eleven. Eleven by five. Okay. Here these two are like fractions. So I'll add this one first. Here we denominator have same. So that's why they are like fractions. So I'll add this one. Ten plus fourteen. 10 plus 14, 24 by 3 plus 11 by 5. Now I will convert this, this one and this uh, denominators are different. So convert them into e e like fractions. Okay. By using butterfly method. 24 into 5 by multiply this to 3 into 5 plus 5. now this denominator and this numerator multiply 3 into 11 by 3 into 5 okay so 24 fives 5 fours 20 5 twos 10 to 1 120 by 3 fives 15 plus 3 elevens 33 3 elevens 33 by 15 okay here answer is 
वन फिफ्टी थ्री बाई फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स दिस इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी दिस इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी नाउ आई विल फाइंड आउट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस वन CBED, CBED, okay, perimeter of CBED. CBED is in the form of rectangle. Second one, CBED, okay. In this length is one by one, two by three, and breadth is two one by five, okay. I'll write. Length is equal to one two by three centimeters, and breadth is equal to two one by five centimeters. Two one by five centimeters. You know the perimeter of rectangle formula. That is two into L plus B. Perimeter of rectangle is equal to two into L plus B. Okay. Here length is how much? Here L is length and B is breadth. Okay. Two into length means one two by three plus breadth is two one by five centimeters. Okay. So, two. I'll write like that only. First, I'll convert this into improper fraction. Three into one, three. Three plus two, five. Five by three plus five into two, ten. Ten plus one, eleven. Eleven by five. Okay. So, two into here. These two are unlike fractions. First, convert them into like fractions by using Butterfly method. Okay, first this denominator and this denom numerator multiply. Five into five and denominators three into five plus this denominator and this numerator three into eleven three into five fifteen. Okay, sorry three into five all right three into five this two denominators okay so two into five five Twenty five, three five, fifteen, plus three into eleven, thirty three, three five, fifteen. So now these are like fractions. Here denominators are same. So you can add numerators directly. Two into twenty five plus thirty thirty three, fifty eight by fifteen. So fifty eight by two into fifty eight by fifteen. That is. Now I'll multiply. This is in numerator, okay? So now I'll I will multiply these two numerators. Two eights, sixteen. Two fives, ten. Plus one, eleven. One hundred sixteen by fifteen. Here, first one perimeter is one hundred fifty-three by fifteen, and second one perimeter is one hundred sixteen by fifteen. Which one is greater? I'll write here. First one perimeter is one fifty-three by fifteen, and second one perimeter is One hundred sixteen by fifteen perimeter. Which perimeter is more triangle perimeter? This is triangle perimeter and this is rectangle perimeter. So triangle perimeter is more or greater. Triangle perimeter is greater. Okay. In the question. In the question, they are asking which is greater and how much they are asking. So subtract that two. Okay, one fifty-three by fifteen. One fifty-three by fifteen minus one hundred sixteen by fifteen. So subtract one fifty-three minus one hundred sixteen. Get thirty-seven by fifteen. Why I am doing directly subtraction here? These are like fractions. Denominators are same, so they are like fractions. So one fifty three minus one sixteen, you will get thirty seven by fifteen. So when compared to rectangle, thirty seven by fifteen uh, triangle perimeter is thirty seven by fifteen centimeters more. Okay, that's it. Seventh question is completed.